Hey guys, welcome to the 67th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use um, bitwise operators a little bit more. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button, a short, and a message box that will display that short in a message box. So, in the previous tutorial, we looked at the AND and the OR bitwise operators. And the exceptional OR, which we're going to look at today, is similar to the AND and the OR in that they all compare but they're the bits. So in order to do exceptional OR you're going to have to have two numbers, one before the operator and one after it. So in order to do the exceptional OR bitwise operator you're going to do a caret. So you're just going to do shift and hit the 6 key. And then we're going to need the number after the um, operator. So we're going to do 5. So we're going to do 3 exceptional OR 5. And 3 in binary is 1-1. One, one. And I'm just going to put a 0 in front of it because um, 5 in binary is 3 digits and this way you'll be able to compare the bits. And then we're going to do exceptional or 5 which is 101 in binary. And the only way to get a 1 in uh, using exceptional or is if both the bits are different. So since both of these bits are the same right here, they're both 1, then we will get a 0. Since these are both different, then we'll get a 1. Since these are different, we'll get a 1. So in a message box, we should get 110. Yep. If we were to do um, 3 exceptional or 4, then it would be different because 1 and um, 0 are different, so we'd get a 1. 1 and 0 are different again, so we'd get a 1. And 0 and 1 are different, so we'd get another 1. So we should get all 1s this time. Yep. The next bitwise operator that I'm going to be showing you is the shift um, operators. And the shift will basically just shift the bits in a direction. We're going to shift um, 3, 1 to the um, left. So in order to shift, you're just going to want to do two um, less than or two greater than signs and this will shift it to the right. So if we do three shift to the right one, it'll physically shift those bits one to the left or to the right. So since um, three in binary is one one, it'll shift those bits one to the right and it will just cut off this bit because it won't be there anymore. It'll just shift all the bits this way. So we should only get one in a message box. So we should just get one because it shifts these bits that way. Yep. And a better example would be five shifted because five is one zero one. So it will just shift these all this way. It'll just shift this bit, or yeah, this bit one to the right. So we only have one zero. So you should get one zero now in a message box. Yep. The next or the and the last um, bitwise operator that I'm going to be showing you is shift left, and that'll just do the exact opposite. It will shift the bits to the left. So it will shift all of these bits one place to the left. So we will now get one zero one. Since there already isn't a number there, it'll just fill it with a zero. So it'll just shift all of the bits one this way. So we should get one zero one zero in a message box. Yep. And if we were to do that with three, three would just be one one right here. And then if we were to shift all these one to the left, we would get one one zero because we get we just shift it to the left and it would just add a zero on the end. Yep. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.